right, so uh, in this session, I'll be speaking about contributing to Unity 7 and Ubuntu Unity. Uh, so before I begin, let me just introduce myself. So I'm the project leader of Ubuntu Unity. Ubuntu, oh, one sec, the presentation stopped working, one sec. Um, so, uh, I'll be discussing the current state of Unity 7 development, um, then the features are in Unity 7.6 and 22.10, Ubuntu Unity 22.10, and then uh, the features plan for the next release, then how you can contribute to Unity 7, and then I'll also be, dem I'll also be demonstrating Unity 7 on Arch and Manjaro, and then the various other ports of Unity. So. Um, so, a uh, dash hard, uh, so the features in Unity 7.6 and in Ubuntu Unity 22.10 include like dash, the hard, and then, um, yeah, and the UL, and the other UI elements being redesigned, and then, uh, support for accent colors was added to Unity Control Center. So, I'll just show it maybe right now. Okay, yeah. So, support for accent colors was added to Unity Control Center. And then, and then many other bugs were fixed, such as the empty trash button not working. And then a new indicator was added to uh, to twenty to uh, ten to switch between dark and light themes and then accent colors from the panel. Um. So uh, then, uh, let me just give you all a sneak peek into uh, the features planned for the next release. So um, open to Unity. Also, um, I was working on porting the, uh, the, the unofficial uh, Ubuntu settings apps and then flood out to Unity. Since uh, the GNOME and Unity settings are pretty similar and the new settings apps and then flood out is designed for GNOME. So, yeah, so, uh, so, most of the, uh, so most of the settings work on Unity too. So I'm just going to the mailing ones to work on Unity. Um, and then... Uh, we are also interested in working on the new welcome app for Ubuntu Unity and Flutter Electron. So like Ubuntu Mate, we have, uh, so Ubuntu Mate was also working on the new welcome app in Flutter. So they were looking to collaborate on the welcome app and use it for Ubuntu Unity to, for Ubuntu Unity and Ubuntu Mate, a common welcome app in Flutter. And then, uh, uh, and then we will be replacing all the remaining kernel maps and dependencies for 23 or 4. As most of them will be switching over to Lib Advisor by GNOME or by GNOME for the uh, by, uh, by Ubuntu uh, by Ubuntu 23 or 4. So, so now I'll just quickly go to how you could contribute to Unity. So one way is to like port Unity 7 to other distributions, which I'll be discussing in the next slide in the next few minutes. And then you could add new features or fix bugs in Unity. So I've given the link for the most request page for Unity 7. And then you could just, and then if you face any, if any problems or anything, then you could join the Ubuntu Unity Telegram Club or Discord server to ask questions or then ask Ubuntu, since Ubuntu Unity is now an official flavor. And now um, Unity 7 on other distributions. So I had put it Unity 7 to Arch Linux um, a few days ago. I announced it at Ubuntu Summit. Um, so I don't know. Uh, so yeah, uh, I got it. Work, uh, so uh, we got it working on Arch Linux. Um, I actually, I'm actually presenting some Unity on Arch right now. So and then. Um, so then uh, uh, I, I, also, uh, I was also working on a Manjaro Unity Community Edition in collaboration with Manjaro, and we'll probably be releasing it within the next, within the next few days. And then there's also a port of Unity for Gen 2. Um, so this port is maintained by C4PB4. And then um, there's another port for Fedora, which is, uh, which is almost ready, apart from a few compass bugs, which also we have the patches ready for those, and we have fixed most of those. So yeah, it will probably be released pretty soon too, within the next few days. And then um, after, the, after the Fedora port is ready, I'm planning to work on, and by the way, the Fedora port is maintained by Catmaster21 from the Ubuntu Unity community. So then, um, after or after um, these after the Fedora port is ready, I'll probably be working on a Debian port uh, on a Debian port too, since it's very, uh, since it's going to be pretty similar to the Ubuntu packages. So I've included 
two screenshots. So the first one is a screenshot of Unity for Arch, which I'm learning right now. And then the second one is one of Unity for Manjaro. So I'll just quickly show Unity 7 running on Arch and Manjaro just quit out of presentation. I'll just maybe like sound near fetch and other stuff. So Um, so this is Unity, uh, so this is NeoFetch running on Unity 7 on Arch. So, um, like, uh, so I'm actually, uh, so we had ported Yadu and all the other packages um, to, uh, we had ported all of them to Arch. And, uh, so, I mean, Yadu was in the AUR, so, and then we ported Compass, Nux, and all the other packages from Ubuntu and the GDKC package with all the Ubuntu patches and stuff. So. Uh, as you can see, this is Unity 7.6 running on Arch, and in fact, like Unity console center, this is the DLS page in Unity. Uh, this is a DLS page, and then so like stuff like the accent colors and stuff were fine. So that I'll just maybe change the accent color once. So this stuff works, and then. Yeah, so you could maybe even help contribute to it. So, um, like all of the all of the packages are under are under Unity GitLab.com slash Unity for Arch, and yeah, you could you, so you could contribute to any of the, to the packaging for all of these packages on the GitLab.com slash Unity for Arch. It's a club. It's a GitLab club. So, so you contribute to all of these packages, and then I'll just quickly spin up a VM of, Mancha, of the Manchal Unity Community Edition. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, uh, this one was developed in uh, so this one was developed in collaboration with Manchalo, and we'll probably be releasing it within the next few days or so. So I'll just quickly spin up the VM, and yeah. Um, So this is all Unity 7 post from in channel. So I'll just so the auto login issue, so auto login will be present in the final line. So um so this is Manjaro, yeah, this is Unity 7 running on Manjaro. So one sec, let's just wait for this to log in. Yeah. Manjaro, hello. And this appears one sec, something so yeah. So Manjaro, hello. And then so yeah, this is Manjaro Unity. I'll just quickly just on to the back line is fine. So that's Unity on Manjaro, Unity for Manjaro. So yeah, I'll just quickly go so Unity Consoles and the two. Oops, Unity 7.6 on Manjaro. And um so I 
set is size. Yeah, that's a link, yeah. So um, these are all, so these are the packages. So um, so one thing uh, that many people were confused about was that so um, so this is one thing uh, uh, which many people were mentioning to and were confused about. So so like um, many of the arch pack uh, so many of the packages such as GDK uh, GDK3 are replaced by G, uh, by uh, by replacement packages from Ubuntu such as GDK3 Ubuntu. Um, so this is basically like the Arch package for GDK3, but with the Ubuntu patches included too. So many people are afraid that like it would break the system or anything. Uh, so nope. Um, like so, it will just conflict with the package. So you could just replace it, since it also provides a GDK3 package. So you don't actually need to replace it with the original Arch version, but you could if you want to. So you could just run through the Pacman as GDK3, for example. If you want to do the play after installing Unity, you want to do the place GDK3 Ubuntu with GDK3 when, insert, when inserting a different version, when inserting a different DE and switching from Unity maybe. So yeah, you could easily just replace these packages. So yeah, I guess that cleared it up. Um, so one sec, I'll just switch back to the presentation now. So I guess um, that's about it. So yeah, thank you everyone for joining the session. So let me know if you have any doubts or anything, any questions. It's been a long time since I've used any uh, Compiz based window manager. Um, is is that project still going well? Yeah, so Compiz is still being maintained by like Dimitri Shachnev from the Ubuntu Code Dev team, and then there are a few other people who are working on Compiz. And uh, we don't really need to make that many changes to Compiz when working on Unity. I mean, uh, so yeah, we haven't faced any problems so far because of Compiz. As this act and this actively being maintained, uh, so like the Mitsui Shachnev is actually the uploader of the Unity packages for Ubuntu. So yeah, Compass is still being maintained, and there was actually a new version which was released uh, just at the end of August of Compass. So, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I'm just wondering um, why. Uh, is it like the plan? Like, why do you want to replace uh, the remaining GNOME uh, dependencies? So, um, Unity 7 does not support mostly but vanilla apps, and uh, like GDK3, no CSD is used to uh, disable the CSD currently in GDK3 and GDK4 apps. However, like, as the GDK4 apps switch over to Libert Fighter, so yeah, that could be a problem as like um, Unity 7 does not support uh, Leopard Fighter apps and GDK3, no CSD cannot uh, disable the CSD in, GDK, in Leopard Fighter apps either. So yeah, most Leopard Fighter apps are broken, which is why like we replaced uh, Digidoo and many other apps in Ubuntu Unity 22.10 with like multi replacements uh, as the switch over to Leopard Fighter. So that's why we're trying to replace all the remaining Kanoma apps. Okay, I'm confused, yeah. Um, you, you, you. Uh, in my ear, so okay, I'm sorry. Uh,
아, 통역관님 시작해도 될까요? 아, 예. 아, 그 좀더 정확하게 질문 드리기 위해서 그 한글로 질문 드립니다. 예전에 유니티가 잠깐 우분투의 공식 윈도우 매니저가 된 적이 있었는데요. 갑자기 그놈으로 바뀌었습니다. 혹시 이 일이 왜 그렇게 됐는지 알수 있을까요? Um, uh, I could I could understand the question since it was actually in Korean. I could uh, I could not hear it. Uh, oh, yeah, it's in Korean, so yeah, I could understand the question. Uh, okay, I can I can speak English. Yeah. Uh, 잠시만요. Okay. 번역 한 번만 해주세요. 번역 한 번만 해주세요. 채널 채널 2 맞죠? 아 그냥 영어로 해도 되나요? 이거 좀 바꿔줄 수 있나요? 아, 일단 일단 영어로. 아 예예. 예. I was remember Uni, uh, Unity is official window manager on on previous version, but uh, some after some time after uh, Gnome and Gnome is official window manager. Is is that any reason on? Uh, 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 sorry. Again. I was remember Unity is official window manager on Ubuntu. I, uh, yeah, but why, why, why change? Uh, 혹시 지금이라도 전달이 가능할까요? <laughs> 죄송합니다. Yeah, okay, so uh, no, I think the question is so like, oh, so why we switching from GNOME apps in Unity? So okay, so the, so please tell you then, uh, please tell me the answer. So, mm -hmm. um, I couldn't understand the question, so yeah, it's just a bit of question one, so I couldn't understand it, so yeah. Ah, uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, 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 yes, but uh, he, he understood the question, but uh, the answer will be, uh, you know, no, I mean, no, I thought he wouldn't understand the question. I mean, I thought he meant something like, why did you switch over, why did you want to switch over to GNOME apps or something? Oh, yes. All right, I got a question now. Um, yeah, since uh, like Canonical, uh, so Canonical had dedicated many resources to like the development of Unity 7, so, so yeah, that was primarily the main. Uh, that was basically the main reason for them switching over to GNOME, since it was quite hard for them to to develop it, uh, and they had dedicated many resources to the development of Unity 7. So yeah, basically to uh, like reduce the losses caused by the development of Unity 7. Uh, so so they thought it would be better to switch over this to switch over to a desktop environment that is already being developed and maintained by a different community, that is GNOME. Is there any more question? Oh, yeah. uh, so how, how did you start the, the, the maintaining the Unity project? Uh, I understand that. Uh, you maintaining Unity 7. Um, so like I joined the Unity 7 maintainer team back in like 2020 and since then um, I was actually working with Kushir Alam who was maintaining Unity 7 and is still helping in the maintenance. So yeah, um, so I was working with him earlier and we were updating many of the packages such as the indicators and stuff as newer versions of like GCC and other packages were released. 
um, since the code would often play for most of the indicators, for example, like Vala often receives major updates. So yeah, so then later we thought of like, uh, so, this, uh, so uh, there were two reasons behind that. So one was, so like we thought of continuing the development of Unity 7 uh, uh, since uh, many people were requesting more and more features and then it was also required to become an official flavor since the last time when, uh, when the previous maintainers of Unity, including DLF, Pure Dino, had applied, he had applied for Ubuntu Unity to become an official flavor back in like 2017. So then the proposal was rejected as, as Unity 7 was not being maintained actively. So that was another reason. So yeah, um, so that was uh, so. Those were the reasons for like me picking up the development of Unity 7 too. So like at so at least Unity 7.6 in like June 2020, in June of this year. So so yeah, those were the reasons behind uh, me picking up the development of Unity 7 too, apart from Ubuntu Unity. Thank you. All right, so I guess uh, we don't have any time left for any more questions. So, yeah, I guess uh, all right. So, thank you everyone for joining this session. And yeah, you could con so you could contact me on Telegram. Uh, my username is r2009, or you could join the Open Unity Telegram group. The link for which I provided, I I um I uh, I included in the previous in one of the previous slides, contributing to Unity. So you could just join the Ubuntu Unity group. Or you could or you could personally message me or DM me on Telegram. Um, so uh, so yeah, I don't. Also, I guess thank you everyone for joining this session and. Hi everyone.